Free Juice by Giselle Fortune. Hi, Jack. Do you want some free juice? Called Luke. There's a box outside the storeroom. It's been whipped open and everybody's helping themselves. Jack ran after Luke. Children were grabbing cartons of juice, then sprinting outside. Come on, said Luke as he slipped two cartons into his pockets. Jack stopped. His stomach felt squirmy. Should I take the juice? It was meant for the school sports day, but everyone else was taking it. Why should he miss out? He snatched a carton and followed Luke. Jack and Luke hid behind their classroom. Luke pushed a straw into one of the cartons. Yum! He said. Jack couldn't drink his right now. His stomach still felt funny. I'll have mine later. He said. There were no teachers about, so he ran inside and stuffed the carton deep into his school bag. When he went back to the playground, he saw children slurping juice and giggling. <laughs> One boy jumped on an empty carton. Bang! Jack saw his teacher, Mr. Renata. He hadn't noticed what was happening. But Jack still felt nervous. Come on, let's play tag, said Luke. Maybe later, said Jack. <laughs> his stomach felt even worse. He sat alone under the tree to think. What would happen if the teachers found out about the juice? Perhaps he could sneak the carton back before the bell rang. Mr Renato was standing in the doorway. Jack couldn't get to his school bag. Mr Renato would see him. His heart was pounding. So much for free juice. It wasn't worth having it if it made him feel like this. But if he owned up. He'd be in big trouble. Maybe that was better than being caught. Suddenly Jack knew what he had to do. He walked slowly over to Mr. Renata. His face felt hot and his hands felt sweaty. He wanted to turn and run. Mr. Renata, I've done something really stupid. He mumbled. The voice that came out of his mouth didn't sound like his. Really? You better tell me about it, said Mr. Renata. He crouched down so that his eyes were level with Jack's. Jack's eyes started to water. I stole a carton of juice from a box outside the storeroom, he whispered. It's in my school book. I think I should give it back. Sorry. That sounds like a good plan, said Mr. Renata. Jack got the juice out of his school bag and handed it over. Sorry, Mr. Renata. Well done for owning that. The bell rang and the children started coming inside. We'll talk more about this later, Jack. Jack nodded. The feeling in his stomach was gone, but he couldn't look at Mr. Renata in the eye. Back in class, Luke hid the other juice carton in his desk. He was smiling at Jack and didn't seem worried at all. How could he be so brave? The door opened and Mrs. Strong, the principal, came in. Excuse me, Mr. Renata, she said. May I have a word with your class? Some cartons of juice have gone missing from a box by the storeroom. Does anyone know about it? Some children looked nervously down at their desks. Jack glanced at Mr. Renata. He waited to hear his name called out. Jack wished he had never taken the juice, but other children had taken more. Maybe they'd get away with it. He waited. His heart was racing. So Mr. Renata said, One boy has already owned up. He was brave enough to return the juice without telling on anyone. I wish more children did the same thing. Jack stared, his face reddened. Honest? Brave? Me? Mrs. Strong said sternly. 
I look forward to seeing some more honest children when they've had time to think. She closed the door behind her. Everyone was silent. Jack looked over at Luke. He wasn't smiling now. Jack wondered if Luke was still thinking it was free juice.